Hold on. Hold on. So Welcome back to one leg. That barrier may be a nuisance, but the mist driving people insane is what's really terrifying. Still, it wouldn't even exist if it weren't for you pact bearers. You know who I hate? Selfish people who don't care about how much trouble they cause others. Sora said... That's what makes them so self-centered. I bet you're like that too, aren't you? I want to bring peace to the Academy and make Sora's vision of a safe world come true. She trusted me to do this. I have to live up to her expectations. So, I'm not going to hold back, especially against a pact bearer. And I'm not just talking about Akane. I mean you, too. I mean... You pact bearers are the cause of all this. I'll prove to everyone that I don't need help from any of you. Seems this place too is linked to the depths. This number connects to the singularity. Where's my thanks for all my charity? <laughs> what? are on the lower floors, if that's what you're looking for. Skipping out, huh? Can't blame you. 
No one takes practice that seriously. Can't blame you. No one takes practice that seriously. Ah. Uh. Skipping out, huh? Hmm. Never thought I'd get stranded in the sick club of this. building. I'm so sick of this. so afraid of oh no never thought I'd get stranded in the club building babe who are you actually that doesn't matter can you help me out help how my girlfriend got all scared and locked herself in that room can you help me think of a way to get the door open Beats me if I knew. Hey, huh? who are you? Actually, help, ha. My girlfriend got. Can you help me? What? Do you think it's weird that I have a group? Oh no. Okay? Hold your 
the pack bearer of pride has the power of biokinesis, the ability to manipulate. You seem just fine at running low, I take it? Come again if... You seem just fine to come again if anything happens. Can't blame you. No one takes pre- I'm so sick of this. <sighs> Where's the hot- Who are you, actually? Help, ha- My girlfriend got- Can you help? Beats me if I knew. to go to the kendo club i'm a fan of kyle from never thought i'd get stranded in the club building
what just happened? Jim Gandalf. Oh, 
Actually, that does help. Ha My girlfriend got. Can you help me think of? Beats me. If I knew. Never thought I'd get stranded in the club I'm so building. Sick of this. Huh? What do you want? My boyfriend. <laughs> that guy again. I'm so sick of this. Why? Press. Oh, you're the Dean's son? Uh... Shinba, right? Hmm. Shinba? Hmm. Yes? No? My name's Shinya. Hmm. <laughs> Take a page out of the Vice President's book and get a title. Then you won't have to worry about people getting your name wrong. <sighs> Nobody asked you. Dr. Kakeru, understanding the students is part of your job. Anything less is neglectful of your duties as a school doctor. I'll give you that much. But there are hundreds of people enrolled in this academy. You can't expect me to remember everyone. My memory's pretty bad. I'm amazed you even managed to get your medical license. Hey. I know when and where to take things seriously. I take my problems one step at a time. If I do something, I'm gonna do it right. Remembering name. Yeah, yeah. So?
You getting along with Shin? Huh. Your new baby bro here? Could you not forget my name two minutes after you learn it? Huh. Or give me patronizing nicknames? What? You still got growing pains? You're the older one here. You gotta set a good example for the kids. Plus, you're the vice president. Great power, great responsibility. You know how it goes. So make sure you do your part, all right? I don't yeah. think a school doctor who can't remember a single name can lecture anyone about responsibility. Gotta say, though, seeing you two together really brings me back. What do you mean? I got a little brother myself, an actual one. Cute as a button and smart as a whip. Thoughtful and considerate, too. I could talk for hours about how great. We'll pass. You could at least pretend to care. Anyway, you're here for a checkup, right? You are the Dean's son, so I guess I'll put some effort in. The pack bearer of pride has the power of biokinesis, the ability to manipulate. You seem kind of pale. You're good to go. Don't push yourself too hard. You seem just fine. Come again if anything. You seem just fine. Come again if anything. You seem just fine. Come again if anything. Seem just fun. Come again if anything ha
One. on my Mirai or if you just want a girl but it doesn't matter if you're gonna get in the way of wow. our love then I'll just have to get rid of you don't worry he's only unconscious he's just a normal student so I held back maybe we should lock him in a bathroom stall judging by the evidence on that he deserves a little This is an ideal, a chunk of one's ego, the cause of the mist, the source of the Pact Bearer's powers. Looks pretty impressive for something so vile. 
even if it is probably all for show. Do yours look like this too, Vice President? No. I guess you wouldn't, considering it's the demons who make them. Still, your ideal should be somewhere in the other world too. Wouldn't that mean they're also spreading the mist around the Academy? Don't think you're a good guy just because you're fighting the other Pact Bearers for Sora. Pact Bearers cause distortions in the world. People suffer because of them. And you're no exception. Eventually, we'll have to shatter your ideals too. Anything that makes good, good people suffer can't go unpunished. They shouldn't exist in the first place. I won't hesitate to end you if you get in my way. I've got business to take care of. Naturally, I've been training to use my magic gear. This is my first time actually trying it out in the other world, though. Sora and Yuko are good teachers, that's all. Let's head out. I'm not going to let you outdo me. All right. Give up. Check 
with me. I won't lose. Yeah. I'm with you. I knew it. I'm worthless.
I was torn from your arms. I want them all to pay. I want to atone for it all. What hope there was has been sullied and lost. But I will bring it back to you. What are these feelings? These words flowing into me? I don't know. Those thoughts were of loving another. They were obsessive and hateful. Burning yet freezing at the same time. Someone really couldn't take a hint. It doesn't make any sense. Welcome back, Vice President. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hello. It's nice to meet you, too. Who is this, Vice President? He must be a middle schooler, judging by the color of his uniform. Jimba. Oh, Chia! Chia? What are you doing here instead of at the middle school? buildings for club stuff when I got caught up in all of, well, this. And that's my brother next to you. He's why I'm here. Huh? Vice President, you're related to Chio? So, Shinya, I'm guessing you already knew about the demons in the other world, huh? Yeah. Wait, what? Well, Shinya is Miss Sora and Mr. Yugo's son. You didn't already know? Weren't you the one who brought him here? It's not all that surprising. I didn't tell him, and my last name is different. And before you ask, I'm adopted. Legally, my last name is Jingu. I don't feel like I have the right to call myself one just yet. My brother and I have different last names too. Our families have that in common. It's due to divorce in our case, but still. I understand why you know about the other world, Shinya. But if you're with the Vice President, does that mean... I'm just helping the Vice President out. That includes fighting in the other world. Vice President? You really uh. are a piece of work. You're ruthless. An ogre. A monster! Huh? You do realize Shinya's still in middle school, right? You can't expose him to that kind of danger. But... Uh... And you. Don't be so reckless, Shinya. What would Miss Sora think if you got injured? Uh... Don't worry, Nozomi. Shinya has good reflexes. He does martial arts, too! He might even be stronger than my brother! <laughs> That's right, Nozomi! You needn't fret so. Big things come in small packages, you know. Uh, what is that voice? Powerful principles and values with Vim. The other world shouldn't be too much for him. His ego is sharp as glass, yet thin as ice. 
Will it cut him a path or snap in a trice? All the more entertaining for... Uh. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to take a swing at you. You caught me by surprise. Wait, is this a stuffed animal? Uh. I'll spare you. At least an apology was exchanged. I can think of some others who are far more deranged. That's Benitas. He's the demon who made a pact with my brother. Seriously? This thing is a monarch? A grantor of authorities? Mm. A supernatural entity distorting our world? me to do this, so I'm going to be helping all of you out. I'll try to pull my weight as best I can. You sure are popular with the girls, Shinya. Where's this? You have the power of resonance. Not to mention you can control fiends. Oh... It's impressive, I'll admit. But I'm not going to lose to you. My adoptive father, Yugo, taught me martial arts. I'm still not as good as I'd like to be, though. I tend to embarrass myself doing certain moves. I have to apply myself so I can be on Yugo's level someday. That way, I'll have strength to spare, even when the time comes that I have to fight you. Yeah. His skills are really something, but that's not all I admire him for. He's kind, caring, and he knows almost everything. There's nothing he can't... He even took in a brat like me and treated me like a son. I want to be just like... What am I doing? You're the last person I should be talking to about this. Shinya sure talks a lot when he's with you. He's a mistake. Serious guy. And he's always by himself, so I never knew much about him, except that his reflexes are a cut above. And that he studies hard. And that he's kind. And that he's popular for his looks. But I feel like he's closed off. It's not that he's a loner, he's just... By the way, Shinya told me that Akane is a pact bearer. But it's hard to believe, don't you think? People always call Akane as girly, but Akane is so kind and cheerful. She wouldn't hurt a fly. I can definitely imagine Sumire making a pact, though. It wouldn't be out of... I wonder what happened to Akane. Maybe I should look into this a little more. Human desires become the most clear when dealing with somebody whom they... <laughs> Today, I'll reveal the desires at your... Question one. Say you are smitten with someone you know. How would you go about telling them so? Question two. They say that for now, dating's out of the question. How do you handle your rejected confession? Qu 
Question three. You eventually find a prospective soulmate. Where should they sit during your dinner date? Question four. Your partner has finished their meal before you, but you are still hungry. Now what do you do? Question five. You and your partner's beliefs don't align. Are you upset? Or is everything fine? Question six. What would you do if you heard a rumor stating that your partner's parents were against you dating? Question seven. While out at a theme park on a fun little jaunt, your partner points out the ride that they want. It drops down a hundred meters or so, but heights petrify you. Do you still go? Question eight. When you return, question nine. Question 10. The clock strikes nine. The question 11. Question 12. Your partner eventually spurns all your texts. What do you think caused these at question 13? When you visit your part, question 14. These questions were meant to be geared toward lust. Could it be carnal pleasures fill you with disgust? Perhaps your desire for sloth went too far. No judgment, of course. You are who you are. But indulge your desires and life gets more fun. Be true to your ego, as you've already... Oh. <laughs> what is it? On the next episode. Thank you.